So this is the Nike SB Spinal. What was it? Spinal. <laughs> <laughs> vertebrae. Nike SB Vertebrae. These just came out today. It looks like Nike's just taking stuff from basketball and throwing an SB on it and saying it's a skateboarding shoe after they make it maybe a little bit more durable. I'm gonna skate these today and see how they do. Before we get into the skating of the day, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more skateboarding shoe reviews. The main things that I'm trying to see is whether or not they flick good. And if I land on a Primo or so, hopefully I don't. If I land on a Primo or something like that, it's not gonna like destroy my feet but hold on i didn't look at the insole yet i guarantee you this is probably just like a tiny little piece of cardboard oh it's like glued in i could get it out though there we go so these are a cup sole really fat cup sole and the insole that it comes with is nothing these shoes cost 95 dollars, and as of right now as i'm filming this i didn't read the description for these shoes because i'm just gonna skate them and then i'm gonna see if the description lines up with how i feel about these at the end of the video the very first thing i thought when i saw these is that nike made a wide footed shoe because this looks like it's pretty wide after skating them today it actually feels really narrow it doesn't feel any wider than any of their other Nike shoes that they make. Let's put this back in the, it's like super sticky. Can you see all the little ridges of adhesive on there? All these shiny little lines of adhesive are what's holding the insole into the shoe. But other than this insole, the outsole itself, it feels like it's super thin again, almost like the eye shot was. So it seems like it's another very board feely shoe. I don't think Nike's really caring about impact protection, but all right, I'm gonna put these on now. Dude, even the eye shot's insole is a lot better than this thing. It on one foot. Dude, this is like, Nike's like literally just taking basketball shoes and putting SB on it and saying that they're like new skate shoes. All right, let's put these on. Oh, wow. That's super snug. When I first look at the shoes, I thought that, wait, what does this QR code go to? What do you think it goes to? Nike website. Please allow access to your device. Why? It says put in your social security. Okay, well, <laughs> enable. Allow. I'm allowing it so that way you guys don't have to. What does this do? Uh, that QR code doesn't do anything for your skating. It just shows you their website some more. The other thing that I thought when I first put them on is that they felt like they were padded, but they're not really that padded. So I think that this vertebrae, whatever it is, is just kind of holding your foot in place really well. Oh damn, these are really snug. This feels like a ultra snug skate shoe, actually. Definitely a more slim feeling Nike. Damn, these actually feel too small. Usually a 10, but this feels smaller than a 10. Let's go ahead and lace these up. Maybe I should try to skate flat ground a little bit before uh, jumping on a ledge. If you like board feel, this is great for you. But for me, I feel like I'm in like a thick, padded slipper it does not feel the same way wow that's that's weird oh look makeshift broom <laughs> she's suck for sweeping i hate this my lower back hurts nah they just like randomly came out with them and was like hey here's the vertebrae okay first kickflip with these oh my god ah that felt horrible it's the first kickflip i did all day so Give a little bit of time and feel how it warms up. Damn, these are so thin. I feel like I took the impact of like a five stair. Ah! <laughs> how was that your warm up trick? I was trying to fit the ledge. I know, but you didn't even see if it would grind first. I was scared for you. It grinded like two weeks ago. <laughs> so I was like, it's probably still good. Maybe I should just skate some flat ground first and warm up like in the in the street and then come back over and see if I can jump on a ledge. Maybe we should have went to a skate park. Why the fuck are we in the streets? Also, these laces are never gonna rip. They're really lightweight laces that are almost like shrink down versions of dunk laces. The eyelets are set inside the shoe and even the top eyelet is pulled in. So you're not gonna break those either. That's actually pretty sweet. Practice kickflips and get used to the flick. It feels like, uh, you know that costume with the sock on it? Yeah, yeah, that one. It feels like that, like super thin, like a, like a sock. Do like a good kickflip. I keep feeling like I'm flicking it really weird. I think I gotta flick maybe with my foot more in. I could feel like the edges of my board so good. Most people like a lot of board feel in their shoes. This definitely has a lot of board feel. After 10 kickflips, no abrasions. I'm just gonna keep doing kickflips until we see if it starts to rip a little bit. It's starting to feel better. Ow! The entire outsole feels like it's really stiff, but it will flex only in the toe. And honestly, that's all you really need when you're skateboarding. You don't really need the rest of the outsole to be moving, oh, damn, moving around. It's really stiff in the back, but it doesn't feel like it's super stiff when you're skating it. I don't know what that was. 
This guy is gonna tell me to do a kickflip watch. Hey, do a kickflip. Oh, okay, dude, sure. I'll do a kickflip. <laughs> oh my God. That was 20 kickflips. I mean, most of the shoe is coming off on the grip tape. I mean, if you made it past 20 kickflips, then it's not too bad then. <laughs> At least that's good. So far, first session, it's going great now that Herbie's here. I oh! Ah! Oh my god! I swear, I felt like I was going fast. Probably not going that fast. Ah. I wish I just landed that. I would have been like, yeah, that's cool. I did a trick, dude. It looks like Nike's decided to go into their roots with this skateboarding shoe. And by roots, I mean making a basketball shoe with an SB on it and calling it a skateboarding shoe. This looks like somebody getting ready to go hit the court, basketball court, or maybe even the tennis court. I don't know exactly what the designers are aiming for when they're making these. Just, just make some new skateboarding looking shoes and call it a SB Dunkaroo. I've never done that in my life. I'll do this line and then we'll go like skate something else. Jesus. Who's that? Broken glass everywhere here. All right, well, I feel like they're broken in already, so that's good. I'm starting to like, I really didn't like it when I first started skating. Now I like it kind of. These feel great for like skating the ledge and stuff, but there is like absolutely no way I would even skate like a five star with these. Maybe we should try to find something else to skate, huh? No. <laughs> oh. At this point, I think I could probably go home and talk about these shoes after skating them for the past like two hours. I don't feel like I'm wearing a skateboarding shoe when I'm going to go skateboard, which is conflicting and I don't like that but I do like how it's different. Fastest clip I've ever done. But I think it would be cool for them to make more skateboarding looking skateboard shoes. <laughs> or at least slightly skateboarding looking. This thing doesn't look like anything else besides a spine. For a skateboarding shoe, that is $95, which is actually good for a skateboarding shoe nowadays. Everything's over $100. I would definitely recommend you try some of these if you don't mind looking like you have a vertebrae on your foot. If you want to get these, then go uh, find them at your local skate shop, actually. Don't buy them online. Go to a skate shop. Give money to them. That's what I did. Okay. I love you. Peace. If you've watched this far, then leave a comment saying extendedwear.com because I need to sell more of those insoles that I made. Okay. I love you. Bye.